Snuggle Bell. The folk of Snuggle Bell worship the common rabbit. Floppy-eared bunnies are encouraged to hop around the field surrounding the hamlet, bringing happiness, love, and more bunnies to the entire area. Yeah, that sounds awful. We need to deal with it. I'll start saving the game. Uh, so, so that uh, game saved. I don't lose my progress. Um, yeah, this level is a bit, a bit harder than the previous ones because of uh, us having a keeper to deal with and so our top priority should be capturing this area actually so we'll start by digging some gold, of course, as usual. Probably our fly appeared, right? Yeah, flies always appear first when you don't have anything. I'll try to dig as, as square room as possible, but yeah, also leave some money. Uh, so that we can build a treasure room. I'm pretty sure there are some creatures that are there outside, so we don't want to go and dig to this space immediately. Yeah, so there we haven't built a lair. And... I mean, wasn't going to. <laughs> it's not for a fly. Yeah, so there is some impenetrable, impenetrable rock here, so we couldn't dig up really. So we will dig down and probably make some other rooms. Preferably they should be square shaped, but it, it's not mandatory, of course. Must build a treasure room to store gold. So yeah, we couldn't create more imps because we don't have a treasure room. I guess we can build a little bit so that we can create more imps. I think seven imps is enough. Also, if treasure room is full, they also should just uh, leave gold on the ground. And it seems like they do this as well, so. There's nothing that we can spend gold on yet, so should be fine. So I'm thinking where we are going to put our treasure room. And it should be big enough. So I guess we can do something like this. We'll excavate a small enough region. And we need to start thinking about room layouts. So we don't want to connect to our treasure room uh, from outside. And I also happen to know that there is water here. So we will like to have a training room uh, going outside. So 
we have 100 gold. Um, and the other keeper already has some spells that allow him to see us. And he is observing our empty rooms. I am wondering what he is, he is thinking about right now. So this will be our treasure room. Um, yeah. It's finished, so we can start building stuff. Yeah, that should be enough uh, for start. So I think that we will build the training room here. And the lair and stuff here, probably. And we will dig down from the training room and only connect the training room with uh, the outside world, so our passage is well protected. Uh, we'll start with building maybe half of this room, because hatchery is pretty expensive and we need uh, we need to dig the gold do down as well. Yeah, see, so when we build, we have built those buildings, basically start running out of money. Um, we don't really need all those creatures. Demon spawn, yes. Fighting amongst themselves. Yeah, spiders and flies, not really, so don't want those guys at all in our dungeon, I would say. They're too weak. I said no spiders. Uh, so, we obviously also need a library. Probably can build it somewhere here, I guess. Um, we don't need very big library, so maybe we can dig even further there. Yeah, so we need a small enough library, because we don't have many spells. So there are two more spiders now. So we don't have many spells and the size of the library uh, that we need is determined by the number of spells and buildings that are researched, or rather just spells. So if we build a enormously sized library then we'll just waste money and we have limited it is amount of money. So warlocks should start coming shortly. Um, yeah, we don't have much. We don't have many units, many creatures. I mean, one demon spawn is probably not enough. <laughs> And so our rival already has 23 creatures, but like a lot of them are beetles and wouldn't really count them. So for some reason we're not getting warlocks, which is interesting. <laughs> Finally. So we will... Ask him to 
start researching immediately. Basically, our uh, treasure room is almost full, which is interesting. So I'm not sure if they have dug something here already or not. Yeah, probably they are actually already fighting some creatures here. The thing is that we need to build a bridge here as soon as possible. Otherwise, the enemy keeper will do that instead. A new spell has been and there are some... You need a bigger treasure room. Some cool creatures here, so we can see them. Yeah, so we can see that there are mistresses here, and there is really nothing. Except the bridge that we need to build. So it should be our top priority after we discover the bridge but we can start digging before that so our keeper our rival keeper is probably also going to do that where are they So we need to claim this land as well. Yeah, finally. Oh. Okay, so we have discovered the bridge. Uh, we have researched the bridge, and we need to go there to this place as soon as possible. And we can like take a random imp. So probably some flies will fly into our space right now. Oh, maybe they actually were quick enough. So let's see. You need a bigger treasure room. Yeah, I need a tr bigger treasure room. That's true. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that the enemy keeper wasn't first, and those mistresses are very powerful so once we capture them we'll have an advantage over our enemy keeper so we need to we can basically do that quicker than the AI okay so we have we will have captured the torture room and we can start mining this gold as well um, yeah so probably an enemy keeper will try to prevent us from doing that but we can always just transfer gold by hand using our dark god powers and we don't really need a torture room here we can build it uh, in our a new spell has been researched. somewhere in our place somewhere so like we don't really need much we need just like a very small torture room to attract new mistresses and the mistresses are training already and they're very very powerful so we should be okay also don't need any spiders I said no spiders and we'll probably get rid of warlocks 
soon as well. So we need to be pretty quick. Guard post. I think that guard post is not does not attract anyone. But if it does, we can build a little bit near the dungeon hut. I'm pretty sure we we have no use of it. Okay, so we need to be quick enough. So we will be digging this gold. A new spell has been researched. So call to arms is researched, but we don't really need it yet. Because we don't don't have an army. And if enemy keeper was smart enough, he would destroy us now. <laughs> But he doesn't know or doesn't care that we are pretty small and weak. So yeah, if if it was a human player, it would stand no chance, really. All right, so this this treasure room size should be enough. For a start, we can also destroy this part of the bridge because basically, uh, imps can go through water. We can also create more imps so that they dig faster, and the enemy keeper has less time than we do. Alright, so we also will probably need some doors and traps, so I will create a smallish workshop. Also need to get rid of spiders. So yeah, trolls are welcome. Where are all the imps? What are they doing? Oh, we have dug all the gold. Alright. So, let's take this as well. Yeah, they need to start working. So basically the only advantage that we can have over the blue keeper is that we have this uh, gold deposit and he doesn't, but he should eventually find out that we are here. So if you are uh, trying to... If you are struggling with this level, it may not be... Yeah, yeah. so you may not be lucky. And uh, the enemy keeper will attack you. You can always restart the level because I think it's not supposed to happen. So the enemy keeper is supposed to not really build bridges towards you and do weird stuff. Like this. So I think we're we should discover a new spell soon. Our library is a new spell has been researched. Yeah, so left to research. we have researched lightning strike. So lightning strike does what you think it does. <laughs> um and the only use for it that we have, uh, the, the only thing that we will use it for is to kill enemy imps. So that if they build a bridge to us, we will kill them with 
we'll kill the imps with the lightning strike and hope that uh, we can claim their bridge and sell it fast enough so that they couldn't do anything about it. It may be challenging, but it's doable. So we can start transferring gold already. So I will probably build a bit more here. And we will sell the rest. Uh, we'll sell the... The parts... Uh, the, the tiles, rather. That have gold in them. In them. So that we can transfer gold pretty quickly. So, gold just lies on the ground now. But we can take it very quickly, so it's just one small thing. So we're going to create a bunch of piles of gold by doing this. And we'll transfer them home to safety. And when our mistresses and other creatures are high enough level, we will attack this keeper. So, yeah. It doesn't matter that there is enough gold in this treasure room already. We just leave the pile of go piles of gold lying. And something apparently happened here. I don't know why the imps are... Enemy imps are... Are there. So we don't need any beetles or... Spiders, as I said. Oh, and I think we have researched everything. So we can get rid of... All warlocks as well. Maybe we can leave one to train. Oh, and probably the training room is is full. Oh, it's it's almost full. Not quite. So we can extend it, I guess. Okay, so we need a big enough treasury so that imps can store all the gold here. And then we will sell this treasury. And we won't have to deal with this guy. Alright, so we have mined everything, now we have a ton of gold, and we can start training our creatures even further, even more intensively than before. So we'll merge the piles as we did previously. And hope that the blue guy doesn't find us yet. So the imps are actually try going to get this gold to the treasure room all right so we can then pick everything up 
or almost everything up and we're done so now the only thing that we should worry about is yeah, we can also expand the treasure room, I guess. So the only thing that we need to worry about is enemy... Uh, flies, I guess? That can fly to us, but I mean, flies I couldn't do anything. So there is a new unit, which is Bile Demon. But we haven't discovered temple yet, so... Uh, we couldn't yet make a Horn Reaper. And apparently we have some piles of gold left as well. Yeah, so the... I was talking about this happening, but... I mean... So we created a braced door, which is a bit stronger than the wooden one, but not really. And I think we should soon be ready to attack. Yeah, we should also get rid of... The warlocks. Build a bigger treasure room. Wait a couple more minutes and we are done. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think that it is safe to say that they probably don't have anything that uh, we should worry about. So let's go. I'll build a bridge to towards the enemy. And destroy the entire army. We're building a bridge so that we don't have to spend money on call to arms. Yeah, so as you can see from the lightning bulbs, bolts and stuff, that the mistresses are pretty good. Not level 1 mistresses, of course. So, yeah. Not much is... We don't need much else. And... Yeah, so... They probably will send their own creatures. But I'm pretty sure that we have superior army right now. So they're sending their best creatures, which is uh, like 
Beatles. <laughs> So as you can see, it is not that challenging of a level, but uh, it's not the easiest one as well, because we need to be quick to capture the uh, torture chamber in the center of the map. Other than that, basically... You have defeated an enemy keeper. It is not hard. You have claimed an enemy room. Yeah, so we have defeated an enemy keeper. But we need to find the um, transfer creature. Alright, so transfer creature on this map is here. Uh in this corner. We will not use it, but uh, you can like train some mistress probably and send it to the next level. We are not going to do that. So it is in this corner. Alright, thank you for watching and see you next time.